so much cloud around women empowerment in the country, women leadership, and I think it got to me. Yeah. Um, of course, if I add to other elements, the spiritual element, the other other emotional elements involved, um, I started Women Today because I believe in women empowerment. And I believe in supporting women to reach their fullest potential. Yeah. Uh, in that regard, I identify gaps. Every time I look around, I'm like, where can I put my hands on today in advancing women empowerment? Yeah. So in this case, maybe you might be wondering, maybe when you came here, you thought, which field in STEM is she in? Or is she a techie? I am definitely not one. <laughs> I am I'm neither an engineer, I'm not a consultant in engineering, nothing of that sort. But what I am today for you, I am the best matchmaker and the problem solver on your team, right? And I'm happy to do this today. <laughs> and um, I, I guess this also came from the fact that I saw a gap in STEM, right? So I told you I look for opportunities here and there. I saw an opportunity in STEM. So what I do also, age to five, Women Today Show is basically my, my passion, 100%. But I'm also still in the corporate world. And I work for an organization called Willow. Uh, actually, it's supposed to be pronounced as Vilo because it's a German brand, yeah? So it's a German brand that began in 1872. It's a water pump manufacturing company. Um, so what I do there, I'm the marketing and communications manager for the East African region, covering Kenya, Ethiopia, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, where we have our presence here and there. So from this, I interact with so many engineers. I invite people to events. Sometimes we have uh, seminars, and we have exhibitions, I attend some of this. And you know what happens when I go to these places? 10% of the women in the room, I mean, 10, if, I, if I look around the room, there will only be 10% of women representation. I'm only looking around when I see a lady, I smile. Like all, all the time I might be having a serious face, but when I see ladies, I smile. I'm so happy to see one in engineering. I respect them. I'm like, I'm extremely kinder to them. Not that I'm trying to be biased, but just in the sense of encouraging these women, you know, in this sector. And I get to see other gaps. Like for example, these companies in the water industry. Yeah? And um, I, I did some research and I saw that there are 88 licensed uh, service water providers in Kenya, but out of 88 in this country, only four are headed by women. Yeah, And again, another reason why I chose this event today is that yesterday was International Engineering Day. Yeah, And, and uh, we were marking the World Engineering Day to recognize and celebrate engineers around the world. But I can say that women, we had a lot to celebrate because they are women engineers. But then there was a gap because the latest statistics by the Institute of Engineers in Kenya, IEK, reveals that um, out of 6,444 engineers, female members are only 436, forming an insignificant 7% you know, the, the, the numbers are quite low. So you'd say that there's representation, yes, but it's low. And so there's so much more that we can do. And when I hear such statistics today, I, 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 I feel that there's uh, one, one kind of, the, the, the development is quite one-sided, you know. There's, we are moving forward as a country, but then less representation from women means their contribution is not there, and that's not sustainable, yeah? Uh, and and the, what I also see is a lack of strong female role models for these women who are in STEM today. Because unless you work directly, like unless you work directly under Ms. Rita Kavashe, honestly, at Isuzu, it's tricky because only she has all those engineers to mentor and coach, and a lot of other things running around, and she has no time to start a YouTube channel like me, <laughs> to bring women together. <laughs> so I guess there's, there's, there'll be that there, like there's less women representation. And we are here therefore um, to celebrate and be able to support women in STEM. And I'm happy that all of you ladies, young ladies also made it today for this networking session as well. And this is how we grow, conversations that grow us, you know. Uh, you, you create time and, and have a space where you learn from each other, interact, encourage one another and inspire. And that's why Women Today Show is here. So I'll stop talking about the gaps now and get to the celebration because we're here to celebrate. And um, I will just start by 
uh, talking and, tele- and, and mentioning a few women leaders that I looked through and so women in STEM that we can celebrate today, right? And I'll mention them. You can either clap or click your fingers as I mention them because these women have been phenomenal. Um, they have they have created terrains where there are no terrains, literally creating formulas, being women at the top, you know, in, in the country when it comes to the, the field uh, STEM sector and all. So let's just celebrate. It might not mention all of them today, but we celebrate them in our hearts. That's why we are here today. Um, first, I'll just start by Ms. Rita Kavashi, the managing director of Suzu East Africa. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're leading the uh, one of the leading motor vehicle manufacturing companies in Kenya. That's amazing. Yeah, women, a woman being there, and it's the first woman to be there in that position. So, congratulations and thank you so much for the great work you're doing. Uh, Dr. Leonita Sumba, yeah, <laughs> Chair Lady Women in Water and Sanitation in Kenya, uh, reinforcing the role of women in management of water. There is Robin, she's not here, but she sent a representative from Women in Wire, Women in Real Estate, that's what it means, yeah. The industry industry's premier networking organization that is advancing the achievements of women in the built industry. I think there's Jennifer here to represent her, the secretary of Wire, and a few members like uh, Maureen Budoni, yeah. Um, then there's Agnes uh, Gadaya, the country director, Google Kenya, one of the world's leading internet search engine companies. There is Anne Muraya, the CEO of Deloitte East Africa, top audit consulting firm, risk advisory, financial advisory, and tax firm. There is Faith Nkatha, the country manager, Cellulant, yeah? a leading Pan-African payments company. There is Rebecca Miano, the CEO of Kenya Energy Generating Company, Kenjen. Uh, there is Priscilla Muhiu, the country manager of Glovo Kenya, your on-time demand delivery service company. There is Kendin Twiga, the country manager, Microsoft. There is Sally Musonye, the founder Ash Gold Africa. She's an engineer at Kenya Power. She's a chairperson in electrical and electronics engineers. All these power women. Yeah, woohoo! <laughs> there is uh, Juliana Rotich, the co founder of Ushahidi, a technology company that helps to gather information, map, analyze information, and build a better world. There is Judith Owigako, Akira Chicks, an organization that seeks to provide women in Africa technology and entrepreneurial skills to complete, uh, compete economically. There is uh, Jamila Abbas, MFAM, yeah? a transparency tool for Kenyan farmers where they simply SMS to the number 3555 to get notifications pertaining to their retail price for their products. So solutions for farmers, that's amazing. There is Jihan Abbas, the founder of CEO Lamy, one of the few women that founded a startup and received funding for over 1 million USD. We'll talk about how hard it is to find funding as a woman yeah, today. So that's really, really impressive. Uh, there's Ruth Kaveke, the co-founder and executive director, Pwani Techno Girls, right? She's doing a great work in teaching women how to code. There's uh, engineer Lucy Wanjiku Mutinda, the founder and lead consult at EcoCycle, yeah? She's the first vice president at the IEK, Institute of Engineers in Kenya. And lastly, I'll finish with Dr. Shiko Gitau, the CEO of Kala passionate individuals working towards digitizing Africa. But then wait a minute, there's some ladies that I need to recognize because they are just like me. We're those, those ones who uh, come up with solutions to be able to make women more visible, more competitive, increase visibility, improve our value. These are women in communications and marketing. I can't leave this stage without talking about Madam Eva Muraya, the CEO of BSD Group, and 100 Most Loved Brands in Kenya, and the director of Kenya Private Sector Alliance. She's, a, she's passionate about building sustainable, inclusive businesses for women and youth. And in one of her periodic posts on LinkedIn, she calls it Eva Speaks. I love it. She says, <laughs> empowering women has proven to be significant, uh, to, to have to be in a significant multiplier effect on society. This has a potential to encourage, to, to, to encourage startup growth and scale up of women businesses. There's also Joan Mwangi, yay, <laughs> the CEO of PMS group. I guess besides the line, I would ask her why she chose the name PMS group. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, PMS. 
Yeah. That's how that's why. Okay, okay. A 360 communications and marketing agency. These are just a few of the diamonds we have. And if we've not named any of them, I celebrate them today and we all celebrate them today. However, allow me to mention what today is not, yeah? Uh, today is not a gender bashing event. And this is not what women today represent. We are not here to bash any gender about which gender is better or the other. No, we are here to compliment. And we're here to uplift, support one another. And we are trying to create a better tomorrow by creating a better today. So thank you so much. <laughs>